Welcome back to another episode of Pixel Perfection, where we play new games on old screens. If there's one thing gamers of today seem to crave, it's a good challenge. Of course, we have From Software to thank for our current obsession with difficulty, but the Dark Souls phenomena is only about a decade old, and even then, it took those last five years for the wider gaming community to fully embrace the concept. But over 30 years ago, difficulty was actually the norm, thanks largely in part to arcade games. Hard games equaled more money, generally speaking. Enter Contra, a hodgepodge of 80s action and sci-fi movies rolled into one tough arcade game. Even the NES version of the game retained the same level of difficulty, but you also had the option to use the now-famous Konami code. Anyway, the Contra games are synonymous with tough, but the series has slowed down in recent years. And, uh, no, I'm not gonna talk about Rogue Corps. No, just, no. So who would fill the void left by Contra? Blazing Chrome! Ah, yes, Blazing Chrome. The best Contra game that isn't Contra. Released in 2019 across all major platforms by developer Joymasher, the game is a love letter to the run-and-gun genre, all while retaining the difficulty we've come to appreciate. Furthermore, the game takes influence from two of my favorite Contra games, Contra 3 and Contra Hardcore on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis respectively. And just like its 16-bit ancestors, Blazing Chrome looks fantastic on a CRT display thanks to its native resolution of 427 by 240 pixels. It's almost as if the game was meant to be played this way. Actually, now that I think about it, there might be some truth to that statement. See, the developers included several CRT screen filters for players to choose from, ranging from sharp, accurate scan lines to a full-blown curved look. So no matter what display you're using, all of these filters are available to you, which is great. I actually really like this filter here with the sharper scan lines and used it during my first playthrough of the game on Switch. But of course, this is pixel perfection. So now, let me show you how to blaze some chrome on your own CRT display. Essentially, you need to install CRT Emu Driver on your compatible AMD Radeon graphics card and have a way to convert VGA so it'll plug into your standard definition CRT. If you aren't familiar with this process, please check out my previous video and look at the tutorials I included in the description. Those should really help you in setting this up. If for some reason Windows Display Settings is not registering the 427 by 240 resolution you created on VM Maker, go ahead and install Custom Resolution Utility and create it there. Don't forget to set the refresh rate to 60Hz. Once you've done that, restart your PC and the resolution should be working now. You're also going to need a copy of Blazing Chrome for PC. This is the only version of the game that can display the native resolution. Finally, you need to install one of the following applications, Borderless Gaming or Special K. You will need one of these in order to generate an accurate full screen image of the game. If you try to set the game to full screen using the in-game settings, it will not scale properly for whatever reason. For this video, I will be using Special K for demonstration purposes. Once installed, Special K should detect your game library on Steam or GOG or GOG, so make sure to launch Blazing Chrome from there. Once inside the game, go to Display Options and set it to Windowed using the smallest scaling, times 1. Drag the window onto your CRT display, then enter the Special K menu. Scroll down to Window Management and check the box for Borderless and exit the menu. The game should now be displaying a full screen image at 427 by 240 resolution, complete with accurate scan lines. If for some reason the game window keeps jumping back to your main PC monitor, just go ahead and set your CRT as your main display to prevent this. So yeah, that's how you set up Blazing Chrome to run at native resolution. I know most people don't have access to a widescreen CRT monitor, but please do not think you need one in order to play these games. Almost any standard definition CRT will work with your CRT Emu driver setup. For example, here's a clip of Blazing Chrome running at native resolution on my 4x3 monitor, and it still looks awesome. The scan lines are there, 
but you will have to force a widescreen image for accuracy. Otherwise, the image will be stretched vertically. If that doesn't bother you, by all means, enjoy the game. If you have any questions about how to set this up, please drop me a comment, and feel free to throw me a like while you're at it. On the next episode, we'll be taking a look at a more recent release, which has some very unique setup instructions of its own. But as always, thank you for watching, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.